I'm very proud to announce that the Alberta government has designated the Nikiyuko Japanese Garden as a provincial historic resource. Mayor Chris Spearman joined media and Nikayuko staff today to announce the garden's new status as an official historic resource for the province of Alberta. The garden will now be protected under the Historical Resources Act and become more significantly recognized by the province. You know, we've come quite a ways in the last few years, and I think this uh, gets us out there just a little bit further, uh, makes more people aware of, uh, you know, provincially, uh, of the garden. Um, and I think uh, government agencies, a lot of people in government who really weren't aware of, of what we had here, I think we'll become more aware. Um, there is only so many public Japanese gardens in Canada. There's um, approximately five. So to have one in southern Alberta and the strong connection it has to this day with Japan is, is just amazing. This new designation is not the only exciting thing happening here at the Japanese gardens. Starting Friday, you and your family can come check out this light show. It's their second annual time doing it. And though the sunlight doesn't quite do this justice, at night, thousands of Christmas lights are going to light up this atmosphere. We have 114,000 lights, uh, so a significant increase. Extreme winter weather patterns made things difficult to set up the light show. When the weather gets cold, the pine get very brittle and uh, they break very easy. So we have to be very careful when we're uh, climbing in the pine or around the pine. And last year was, was much nicer and then got, then got nasty. So uh, yeah, weather weather's always an issue with, with the lights. The garden has introduced Tomo the cat, their new mascot, just in time for the light show to make it more child friendly. And a new concession stand that will serve Cupper's coffee and honor the Canada-Japan connection will also be up and running in time for the show. For Bridge City News, I'm Josie Foster.